she had really bad pain in her lower right side, really bad pain, like on the floor crying, screaming. Bigger. His hand's bigger? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you know what they told me once? What, huh? If your hand is bigger than your face, bonk. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. <laughs> Welcome back to Not Enough Nelsons. I bet you're wondering where I'm at right now. I bet you will never guess that it is the emergency room. Are you serious, people? Okay, so, Elsie, we are supposed to be filming our new intro in the morning. Yeah, and everybody has traveled down that does not live here to be in it including the videographer, which I paid a handsome amount of funds to. And this silver right here, she had really bad pain in her lower right side. Really bad pain, like on the floor crying, screaming. So here we are in the emergency room, right? So I was not able to film, like you know, sometimes I'm able to film in here, but Elsie was in too much pain that she needed her mom to hug her, so. She has been all checked in, gave her some stuff to help her feel better, and definitely is working. And now we wait. Okay, so Elsie Faith Nelson. What? Why are we in an emergency room again? Because for about past four or three days, my whole side's been hurting. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what's wrong. Yeah, and then tonight what happened? I was hurting really bad, so I went on my knees, and then I was holding my stomach, and then it just kept hurting and hurting. Yeah, and it's which side? Show us which side. This side. Her right side, huh? All right, so we're going to see if she has appendicitis. All right, guys, we are going to wait for the doctor to come in and see if she has appendicitis, and hopefully she doesn't. Mom, what is appendicitis? <sighs> You did it. Good job. It's when you get an infection in your belly on the Is right side. Bad? Well, if you let it go for too long, it can burst, which then it's real bad. So we don't want it to happen. So we want to just make sure it's not your appendicitis. Does that mean that I only can go trick-or-treating? That will definitely mean you will not go trick-or-treating if you have an appendicitis burst. That would mean you would have surgery and you would be in the hospital for like two days. Is surgery hurt? Yeah, well, a little bit, but they make you go to sleep so you don't really feel it. But so it's starting to feel better, I can tell. It's working. Yeah. Alright guys, this doesn't mean that you can't be getting ready for tomorrow, just in case it works out. So I need all of the littles to shower and go to bed. I need all the middles to be home like by 10.30 and be showered and go to bed. And all you adult children who think it's going to be okay to stay up really late, it's not okay. Go to bed because we have to wake up early to film. As long as this little girl right here starts feeling better. So keep praying that she gets better. She's already feeling lots better. They gave her some stuff to help her. That's where it hurts? Yeah. Just right there. That's the only place it hurts? Yeah. Okay, when I press my bow, does it hurt? No. You good? Good. Oh. Go ahead and okay. sit down now, good. Yeah, she definitely has right lower quadrant tenderness, and, but not here to kneel at all. That's a sign that we look for. It like usually what? means that she has a pretty bad appendicitis. Yeah. Like so, I would say because of the right lower quadrant pain, we need to check some blood work and do an ultrasound. Okay. If that's fine. Yeah. How long did it hurt for? Like about like yeah. It's just been tender all week, like I can't touch it. But then tonight it was like just worse. she had one little piece of bite a piece, it was like teeny, and then she just couldn't and she went and laid on the floor on her knees and like hunched over and then she just started screaming <laughs> like hurting so I think probably the, the safest thing to do is do some blood work, do an ultrasound. Okay. Just make sure that you know we don't see anything bad going on. Okay. And then we'll come back and we'll talk. 
it could be constipation, but at the same time, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, I don't want like okay. an appendix burst in on her or anything like that. Yeah, so. me too. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hang tight, okay? We'll be back. Okay, so they are going to do an ultrasound. That's just like they, t they put this little machine on your belly right here, and they'll be able to see inside your tongue. Oh, is it like, um... Kind of like when you have a baby. Yeah. Yeah, people do an ultrasound, yes. Yeah, don't they feel like gel in your stomach? Mm-hmm. And then like rub it? Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I know. And I'll just make sure it's not appendicitis. So sometimes for this part, it's easier if you look at mommy or you hold mom's hand. Okay. That's strong. So that's the cleaner. So remember, I'll show you. So I'll put the needle in your arm and then I'll take the needle out. And then all that's in there is this little straw. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt at all, okay? Just a little pinch for just a second and then we're done. You wanna look at mama? So look at mom. If you look in my eyes, can you tell me if they're green or blue or gray? Can you tell? Look, look, look. Can you see it? Okay, this is the part we're gonna hold nice and so. Blue. Oh, you're so pretty. Guess you what? Just... All done. Needles out. That's all done. That's it. You're so brave. You did it. That's it. You did so great. How did you get so brave? I don't even you're know. You're so tough. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of blood so you can see if your blood tells us what's going on. How did you get so brave? Put a little band-aid on it. So this is some water. Okay. And there's like a straw on your arm, so I'm gonna give your arm a little drink. This That's drink, nice. you might get a weird smell or a weird taste. Do you smell anything or taste anything? Do you, do you taste anything? Yeah. Good, lucky you, huh? <laughs> and I know your arm kind of feels weird, but you're okay to bend it if you want, or you can leave it straight. It's yeah. up to you. I know. You did so good. She just looked right at me and told me my I asked her if my eyes are blue or gray or green. And she said they're blue. And then it was over. Oh my goodness. It was that fast time. Huh? Okay, well my turn is I get to go take pictures of your insides. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go take a look. So I'm gonna take this blankie. You can take that's just gonna come with you, okay? You can bend your arm. It's just a little tube in there, but it might kinda hurt a little bit, okay? Seriously, I thought she was gonna cry. So I was like standing up there. I was like, uh, and then her cry. no, she didn't even cry. Not at all. I cried. She literally told me what color my eyes were, and that's it. Wow. What color are mom's eyes? Blue. You already knew that though. <laughs> what? Didn't yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Jay, it was good Thank to meet you. you guys. Thank you. Elsie, why are you here? I don't even know what's going on. I was told run to the hospital. Elsie might be having a baby. No? No? Um, I eat a little slice of pizza. A little slice of pizza? A little slice. A slice, I okay. One piece, a little piece, and then... What kind was it? Cheese, and then I went on my knees and started grabbing my stomach, and then my stomach, my side started hurting really bad. So, and then, uh... More than normal. It's been hurting all week, yeah. kind of. Is it? Yeah, and just... Then, here and there, mom, and then and mom's it just hurts really bad. rushed me to the hospital, but I know mom was in the chair for me. It's cold. Mm. The gel is so warm. Well, then put that blanket on you if you're cold. It's not warm anymore. Oh, was it a warm blanket? Mm -hmm. They put it in like a <clears throat> microwave or something. Mm. Microwaves are nice for blankets. You could be like Rapunzel and let your hair down and then just cover your body like a blanket. No, my head's not that long. Huh? Huh? Mom said it might go all the way to here. Yeah. One day. <laughs> that would be crazy. Or we could just shave it off. No. No? Then it won't grow. It will grow slower. Yeah. That's true. Dad, you're crazy. <laughs> Dad, whose hand's bigger? Whose hand's bigger? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you know what they told me once? What, huh? If your hand is bigger than your face, <laughs> Didn't get to that was so rude, Dad. You're so mean. Gosh. I'm not mean. Is it large? You can't bonk her when she has a thing in her arm. Oh, okay. you know what else they told me? Huh? That if you spill in your shirt down here. Stop. Really, I'm not even, that's not even a joke, but you did spill. No, it's not. Yeah, she did, she you got. Go. What? We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Oh, dear. 
Not Goofy all says your what? <laughs> You're gonna get Goofy, says, Goofy says what? <laughs> Don't you dare. But this is what you do all day. I do not. Yeah, you go. No, when I'm sleeping, I don't. No, when you're sleeping, you go. Uh, there's boys in my class. There's a show that says, This is what you're doing. Oh, yeah. that? This is what they want you to do. This is what you're doing. This is what I want you to do. You know what that show is? It's about dad? a turtle. There's a turtle oh, in it. What did you drop? Master of Disguise. <laughs> That's the name of that show. Hey, what was that? Got the ring. Oh, the TV of people. This is what I want you to Mom, do. Mom, put it on that tray. Put it on that tray. Okay. Bring that tray over here. No. I want to put my arm on it. Hi. Elsie? I think Do you realize you haven't even stopped talking since I said that? See? Just go. This is what I want you to do. This is what you're doing. Master of Disguise. Oh, see? Like that. Peppa Pig. Mm -hmm. Right there. Peppa Pig. Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm like that? Roger Pig. Yeah. Mom, the pig. Oh my. Ooh. That was just rude. I looked out the Enough. Was that funny? Yeah. Hilarious. All the kids were laughing. They thought it was funny. Even if we weren't very funny. Yes, you were. You had pants on your head. And then um, eyes on your chin. Yeah, did you notice what kind of pants they were? Nike. Yeah, of course. You got that. You had a good observation. <laughs> Guess what I'm wearing right now? Nike. No, I'm not. Yes, you wear Nike. Nike. You forgot to get a Nike phone case, Dad. I know. I don't know if they have one. Do they have one? I think so. I think he's good. I think Nike shoes, Dad, socks, just, pants, yeah. and shirt are no, enough Nike. No, he forgot a Nike mask. Oh, yeah, where's your Nike mask? I don't have one. All right, this girl right here is running out of patience. I'm tired. Yeah, she's been waiting a very long time. I want to take a shower. She wants to take a shower. I want to go. And now that her side isn't hurting her, she's like, I just want to go to bed. we got to find out what's wrong with your side first. Yep. Yep. And it's starting to hurt. Yeah. That's the place where they put the medicine through right there. Yeah, that's so that's hurt. Cool. There's still blood coming out. You know, they'll take it out soon when they find out what's going on. No obvious signs of appendicitis. Okay. We can't obvious. We can't see the appendix itself, but we don't see any fluid around that area. Okay. Don't see anything dangerous. Okay. Her blood counts came back totally fine, so no white count, which is a good sign. Okay. Urine came back and showed maybe a hint of an infection. I don't think that's necessarily what's causing her pain. In situations like this, with a normal white count and a uh, an equivocal ultrasound usually what we do in these situations is we just kind of wait 12 okay. to 24 hours okay. in that time frame if she gets a fever or if the pain becomes significantly worse you just bring her back right away and we do a ct scan to kind of look at the appendix better okay. um, otherwise if she's still having pain in 24 hours you just bring her back and we'll do a ct scan at that time to kind of see what else is going on okay but we don't like to jump to a ct scan immediately in little kids because it exposes them to radiation yeah um, and there's other things at play here or maybe she's getting over or starting a urinary tract infection Okay. So I'm gonna. Would it hurt on that right side if it was a urinary tract it could. infection? Yeah, it definitely could. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen a lot of different things cause right lower quadrant abdominal pain, constipation, oh, uh, cysts on the ovary, which it looks like she does have some tiny little cysts, but nothing big. She has good blood flow there. Okay. Did you go to school today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right there, it's hurting. Yeah. Okay, go and lay flat. Did you wear your costume? What you what did you wear? Black, what were, Black Widow. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's jump see. again with this. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make extra sure. Oh. Go ahead and jump up and down. Oh, she holds it. Higher, oh. higher. Oh. Good. Okay. Does that hurt when you do that? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't <laughs> think it's appendicitis, but you know, weird things happen sometimes. Okay. okay. Like I said, the, the standard of care usually with little kids like this where you don't have a high white count, 
the pain's not that bad. The ultrasound doesn't really show any secondary signs. Is to kind of wait 12, yeah. 12 to 24 hours and bring her back if she gets worse. And if she's been feeling pain for five days, wouldn't, well, I guess that doesn't matter. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, if it was appendicitis five days ago, yeah. She'd um, already be like. But if, let's okay. say it just started tonight, like this pain tonight mm -hmm. is the appendicitis. Sometimes it will take time for it to actually even show up on CT scan. That's okay. why we don't, like, rush the CT yeah. scan. So we do it now, at like, like, within an hour of it starting. We might not even see anything. And then we're going to say it's not appendicitis. And then she's going to have to come back and get a CT scan again. Yeah. Anyway. So and I don't want to scan her twice. No, for sure. Yeah. So if it had, because she started feeling pain on Monday, if it was, in your professional opinion, mm -hmm. if it was appendicitis and it started on Monday, would we already have a high blood count? Would she oh, be yeah. throwing up? Would yeah. She... We, we would okay. not be talking right now. She would be in the OR right now. Okay. If it was appendicitis five days five ago. Five days ago. Yeah. It would have already ruptured. She would be septic. Really? She would be okay. sick and she would not. So it, and it, it excels that fast. Like if yes. she had pain in her tummy five mm -hmm. days later, it would be. Yeah, it would okay. be perforated by that time. Okay, so Elsie, did you hear what he said? <clears throat> not really. Not really. So it's either you have to go potty or you have a urinary tract infection. What's that mean? It's like kind of an infection in your tummy that makes it when you go to the bathroom, it hurts. Or it's your appendix, so we have to wait and see how you're feeling tomorrow. Well, he said in 24 or you hours. Germs from and that boy. Um, so it wasn't Valentine. The doctor said um, in 24 <clears throat> hours, if I'm starting to have pain again, then. Then you have to come back. Um, yeah. You yes. have to rush me to the Rush you. Yes, rush you. Do you think you'll feel like doing the intro tomorrow? You do? Mm, All right. They give me a real band aid after. Yes, they will give you a band aid. Right. superhero. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe to my... Wait a minute. This sounds like you weren't even sick. This, this was all just... This just sounds like it's just all a ruse. You were really hurting? For real? She was, no, Dad. No, I was. Oh, she was I just crying didn't see so you hard. I home. She was crying I'm so sorry. hard. It okay. hurt so bad. If you really feel sad, I'm just teasing. Sometimes they might think we're just joking, but this was... You really didn't feel good, huh? Yeah, she hasn't felt good for five years. You let him put one of those in there. Yeah, room. and then in the when you guys are gone, I woke up in the middle of the night because mm -hmm. right here was starting to hurt. But then I put uh, I ran downstairs to put the ice pack on. Yeah, there. she's been smart. nursing that right side all week long, so we're so confused. But we're gonna figure it out, huh? We're thankful for doctors who are trying yes, to help us along. Yes, for sure. Doctors. Bye guys! <laughs>